part three of the games you buy new Xbox experience, uh, the NXE preview. I've just installed Call of Duty 4. Took about ten minutes maybe. Um, I tried to install Gears of War, it didn't let me. It pooped out at 16% because my disc is crap apparently, which is nice to know. Uh, oh, what am I looking for again? I can't even remember. System settings, here we go. Memory. We'll see how much this took up. Gears of War was 6.5 gigabytes. Call of Duty 4 appears at 7.1. Oh no, that'll be the data. 6.7 is the actual size of the install. So there you have it. 6.7 gigabytes for Call of Duty 4. It, it was going faster than the Gears of War one, I have to say. So we'll maybe uh, boot that up right now. All of this is a lot more manageable, by the way. We'll uh, just see here if the load times work properly. Oh, hold on. Oh, that loaded a lot fast. It's not making that horrible noise. You, you know when it boots up? It won't be reading the disc, so... Basically, you have to have the disc in there as authentication that you actually own the game and it's there. But, uh, the... Yeah, the... The console's quiet. And it's, it's weird to have the Xbox being quiet. It's never like that. So we'll load up a level and see how quickly that goes. Oh my god. Yeah, that's racing forward. And here we go, we're in a game. That's not taking nearly as long as it used to anyway. Whoa! So that's, well, didn't take long at all, the Xbox is quiet. Uh, I would recommend installing stuff, but I've only got a 20 gigabyte hard drive, and it's not really viable to do that, because if I had Gears of War and Call of Duty, that would be pretty much the whole thing taken up, because they're only really 13 gigabytes anyway. I might consider getting a, a big hard drive after this, but I don't know if I play the Xbox enough, to be completely honest with you. So that's us right here. We're in the game very, very quickly, it has to be said. I want to say it has a slightly nippier frame rate, but then again, I'm used to playing it in multiplayer more. It's a long time since I finished the single player in this game. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. When you get a notification that a friend is online, you don't, uh, you don't get the friend's profile. Ah, uh, someone's annoyed. I have this. Etc, etc, etc. Oh, rules, Pat recommends Mirror's Edge. I don't know if you can jump straight to it. Well, we'll see. Can't jump straight in to the demo download page, but I'm sure it won't take long to navigate to it. I mean, I'm learning as I go along as well, so not exactly an expert on this dashboard yet. But overall, it seems to be a lot easier to use, a lot nicer looking, a lot less complicated. I mean, obviously they're shooting for the casual market a bit more, but you know, not necessarily a bad thing when it's like this, it's good. Explore game content. Browse. Mirror's Edge demo. You can look at screenshot previews. 
all looks very nice. Well, I think I'll just download this now and be done with it. Oh, I can't just return. Oh yeah, if I click that, press Y, it goes straight back to the dashboard. Yeah, this is this is good. You should look forward to it, it's very, very interesting. Here's the little thing, here's Age of Booty on the arcade. Every little every game has its little picture, and a lot of games actually have box art as well, including the arcade ones, which is interesting. Uh, we'll maybe take a look at that game that I just got off the marketplace, if it's there. No. Oh, I don't know why it isn't there. Well, well. Culture. Play trial game. Right, we've got less of a minute of footage left, so... Xbox Community Games. Bloop, 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 bloop. My god, we're going to run out of time. So, uh, I like this community games idea. Paint with flowers. Oh, cool. Wow. I, I honestly have no idea what this game is. 